What's up guys? Uh, what I got here is a new set of True Glow Bright Sights. Uh, put them on the uh, Glock 19. Came out here after dark to give you an idea of what the sight picture kind of looks like. Let me pull my flashlight away. Uh, it's the front sight post. Get an idea of what the rear looks like. It's kind of the sight picture. This pistol already had night sights on it. Went ahead and took those off and uh, replaced the uh, plastic Glock sights on the Glock 17 with the ones that were on that pistol. They're a little bit older. They, they still glow, but not near as bright. Give you a little bit of a side by side here. Just uh, you can tell they're a lot brighter than new ones are. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna gonna shoot both of them to uh, to check zero. Uh, here on the 19 with the new, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm just a fuzz left of center on my rear. It's got a little bit of a set screw in there. A friend of mine, I had him, uh, he has a couple of sight pushers. He used a Merpolite sight pusher to put uh, my rear sight on both of these guns. He did a good job on this one here. We were having a hard time getting centered on the uh, on the two True Glow. Uh, if I have to, I'll take a hammer and a punch and and drifting to the right but uh, that's about it for the night part of this video tomorrow we'll uh, we'll put some rounds down range and see uh, see if we're shooting left or not so until then alright guys this is the second part of my video I've got the uh, Glock 19 here and the Glock 17 Got the True Glow. I went ahead and uh, drifted uh, the rear side on the 19 here, the True Glow, uh, bright sight, tritiums. And uh, I think I'm more center now, and closer to center. Um, I think that's as close as I'm going to get. I'm going to see how, uh, where my point of impact is and uh, go from there. I'm up here at my little steel range and uh, I'm going to shoot five shots with the uh, with the new uh, True Glow sights with the 19 and on the 17 here I put the the night sights that were on the 19 on the 17 and uh, just going to going to check zero uh, these are steel sights they're not super bright anymore which you could see that from the night part of this video just uh, I figured these would be better than what were on them the plastic Glock sights uh, seems like the uh, got a little bit more light between uh, the front and the rear, and uh, just going to put uh, five rounds downrange with each one to get an idea if I'm true or not. So we'll get to that. All right, I'm back here at 30 feet, and uh, going to be shooting to at the uh, piece of steel just to the left of the pistol. Uh, just five shots to get an idea of. Uh, what kind of hold I need to do with these sights. All right, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, I'm patterning to the left. The first shot was just about dead on. And uh, then I then I patterned a, li a little bit to the left so I think I may just drift my, my sights just a little bit more to the right and I'll uh, then I'll see how that is but uh, pretty good sight picture and overall I'm pretty happy with, with this with the with the true glow uh, bright sight set all right back here at 30 feet again uh, got the Glock 17 uh, I'm not really sure the brand of these sights. Uh, I was told that they were the sights that they put on at the Glock factory. But uh, just going to get an idea of where my hold is with this pistol. And I'm uh, going to be shooting at this target that's just to the left of the pistol here. And put five shots on target and see how we do.
that's a little bit bit tighter group I'm still just a fuzz to the left I expect to shoot better with this gun because I've really I've got a malfunction look at that got a stove pipe that's odd uh, I do have a Wilson combat uh, barrel in this pistol uh, but that's besides the point I was just kind of getting an idea of uh, where, I, where my point of aim, which I was aiming kind of in the middle, and you can kind of see how it was patterning there. Uh, overall, combat accurate, uh, very combat accurate actually, and uh, that's what we were going for. Thank you guys for watching.